Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Poker Warden show. I'm Dave. I'm the Poker Warden, and thank you guys for coming back for day 13 of the World Series of Poker. So we got one recap. We had one World Series of Poker bracelet winner yesterday, and that was in event number 18, the massive field in the $565 PLO. Here's who ended up winning that final table and taking down the bracelet. The only bracelet given away yesterday was in the $565 PLO, and that was won by Tyler Smith. Tyler Smith needed only one hand heads up in order to take down the title. Tyler received his first World Series of Poker bracelet and $224,000 for the win. Congratulations to Tyler on his huge win in outlasting that field of a little over 3,000 entries. Congratulations to Jason Stockfish who I mentioned in yesterday's video, who is from the Cleveland area. He finished in second for a little over $170,000. So congratulations to him as well. But moving on, that's going to wrap up the recaps. Very quick, very sweet. I like it. We're going to move up to our first update of the day. And that came in event number 20, which was flight B of the Millionaire Maker. We mentioned yesterday that flight A had more entries by 200 and I mentioned that we were probably going to outpace last year's total entries. Well we did and we did it by a lot. Flight B of event number 20 pulled in a little over 4,300 entries which brought the grand total for entries to 7,700. Flight B saw a total of 678 players bag and tag their chips to head to day two while both fields will combine today and continue action and play another 10 one-hour levels. They're scheduled to return and play today at 11 a.m. Here is your chip leader from the end of Flight B heading into Day 2. Flight B is being led by Brian Altman with 215,000 in chips. Kenny Haller, who was a final table participant at last year's main event, is near the top of the chip count for Flight B. And as promised, I mentioned that we would bring out the payouts once they had all the entries available. So here's your payouts for the Millionaire Maker. A total of 1,165 individuals will receive at least a minimum return on their buy-in, with a min cast worth $2,249. With 1,187 players returning today, that means an unfortunate 22 players have to come back and will leave with nothing in their pocket. First place in the Millionaire Maker is a whopping $1,220,000 for their $1,500 buy-in. Participants who make the final table are guaranteed at least a six-figure payday, with a ninth place paying $110,000. A few notables who bagged their chips from yesterday's actual was Antonio Esfandiari, Jeff Gross, who needs a lot of help. He only has under 10 big blinds, so he'll need a few double-ups. And also Dan O'Brien bagged and tagged some chips. So we'll follow along all of that action as they continue heading down to that massive first place prize. Moving on to event number 21. This was the $1,500 eight game six max event. And we all, what we mentioned yesterday was that Daniel Negrano was still in the mix looking to shave the beard. So let's find out if he ended up bagging and tagging and heading to day three as they reached their final 10 players. Here's your final two tables as well as the chip counts for those remaining players. Event 21 has reached the final 10 players with Gregory Jameson leading the field with a little over 700,000. Here are the final two tables and their seat assignments going into the final day of play. Well, Daniel did not make the final two tables. He did get knocked out in 15th place. Um, also, Tom Snyder, who we mentioned in yesterday's video, knocked out in 22nd. And also Sean Deeb was knocked out in 26. So congratulations to all those. The remaining players will come back today and play down to a winner at 2 p.m. for the close to $145,000 first place prize and the gold World Series of Poker bracelet. We're, next, we had the big one. We had a $10,000 championship start yesterday, and that was the No Limit Deuce to Seven. Close to 100 players last year, this event drew about 92 entries which included 25 re-entries into this year's event. Here's the top chip counts after day one. John Turner is leading the remaining players in event number 22, the $10,000 No Limit Deuce to Seven after day one action. He has a little over 365,000 in chips. 
followed by a list of well-known poker players, including Robert Mizraki, Sean Deeb, Bill Gelfand, Nick Shulman, as well as Mike Watson. So with 30 players remaining, they're going to play down today. The top 14 will cash. Here's what they'll receive if they, if they reach the top 14 players. With 92 entries, event number 22 will pay a total of 14 individuals with a min cash being worth $15,333, while first place is a little over $256,000. The final table will pay $24,498 as this tournament is played eight-handed. One other notable to note is that Bernard Lee, who we mentioned, finished second in the $1,500 version of this event, is still in the running. He's short on chips with a little over 100000 but he's still in the running for his first World Series of Poker bracelet. They will return today at 2 p.m. and play another 10 one-hour levels. That's it for our updates. Only three events were also in action besides that final table. Let's find out what's coming into play today, day 13 of the World Series of Poker. Let's check out the calendar. Today is June 12th and we have a $2,620 marathon event as well as at 3 p.m. we have a $1,500 limit hold'em event. So event number 23 is an inaugural event for the 2017 World Series of Poker. It is the $2,620 marathon event. What's unique about this event is that it is a five-day tournament. All the other tournaments are normally three days except for the big ones and also uh, the main event. But this is scheduled for five days. You start with 26,200 in chips. And also the levels are, instead of the normal 60-minute levels or in some events even 30-minute levels, this is actually scheduled for 100-minute levels. So it makes for a longer uh, tournament, makes for a slower structure. Blinds will start off at 50-100. And play is scheduled for six levels today. Since this is the first year, we're unsure how many entries to expect based on last year's numbers. However, I'm assuming total entries are going to be in that four-figure range, probably end up being between one and 2,000 entries. Play is scheduled to start today at 11, and again, they're scheduled for six 100-minute levels. So one hour and 40 minutes is going to be each level. Good luck to the, all the participants who decide to partake in this year's inaugural marathon event. The final event starting today at 3 p.m. is event number 24, and this is a $1,500 limit hold'em event. This event was won by Danny Lee last year for a little under $189,000. The event drew a total of 665 entries, so I'm assuming this year will be right, probably around 640, 650. Maybe it'll surpass it, limit hold'em. It's kind of a rough draw, but with a $1,500 price range, we'll see how many entries we get again this year. I'm sure Danny Lee will be in the field as he will be trying to defend his title. So guys, thank you so much for watching again. That ends the day. We brought you the bracelet winner. We recapped the action from Sunday, and then we previewed the two events that were coming up today. Guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you could please give my channel a big subscribe, hit that big red button, so you can get notified anytime that I put up a new video, as well as give this video a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until tomorrow's video, peace out.